everyone, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my December wrap up. In December, it was a very slow reading month for me. I read four books even though one of them I didn't even finish till like January 2nd but I'm still including it because it was only like 40 minutes left of my audiobook that I had to finish. So technically I read most of it in December. So the first book that I finished in December was Ready Player One by Ernest Cline and I loved this book. I am so excited for the film to come out. This was just a, such an exciting thrilling ride. This is about Wade who lives in the like our world but it's in the future and virtual reality is basically like everything like everybody enters it and it's a free thing to enter. The creator of this world got sick and he passed away and he had nobody to leave everything behind to. He created this competition to find an easter egg and whoever finds it inside the virtual reality called the Oasis will take over the company. If you want to know more about my thoughts and feelings on this book I did a spoiler free review on it already because I loved it so much and I'll leave that linked down below so go check that out. I loved this book. It was so awesome. And then the audiobooks that I listened to were The Two Towers and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Return of the King is the one that I finished like January 2nd but like I said I listened to majority of it during December. I'm glad that I finally got to wrap up this series because it's been a long time coming. Out of all four of the books I enjoyed The Hobbit the most. I think it was because like I've seen all the movies and everything and I'm a huge fan but I think it was just because it was my first time entering the books and the world just was really exciting and I really liked following Bilbo. Out of the trilogy I think I enjoyed The Two Towers the most. And they're all great books and they're all great fantasy foundation. I physically read The Hobbit and The Fellowship and then I audiobooked these two but like I said The Two Towers out of the trilogy was my favorite and then out of all four The Hobbit was my favorite. If you haven't read them before I will say they are a little difficult to get through just because they were written so long ago but I, I definitely think that everyone should read these. Everybody should read these if they're fantasy lovers. Like I wish I had read them sooner like as a child because I think a lot of people start them off reading them when they're children. I ended up giving The Two Towers four stars and then The Return of the King three stars. And the final book I read for the month of December is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand and I gave this one four stars. It's about Holly who is not a nice person. She actually is a total Grinch or Scrooge I should say because it's a Scrooge retelling. She is visited by the ghost of her stepmother and she tells her you're gonna be visited by three ghosts tonight and you better listen because if not then you're gonna die. So they visit Holly, they take her through past, present, and future and she doesn't listen. She thinks it's all a joke and then she wakes up and she dies. And that's not a spoiler because it's in the synopsis. She becomes the ghost of Christmas past and Every year at Project Scrooge, they are assigned a client. Their client for this year is this teenage boy named Ethan, who, since Holly is frozen in time, she's 17, is the same age as Holly. After watching him and stuff, she thinks that she can change him by getting to know him personally, which this is a huge rule breaker. It's the story of her getting involved with him and having to hide who she really is and having to hide that from her co-workers at Project Scrooge. And this had huge plot twist like I wasn't expecting it I don't know if anybody else who read it was expecting that if you did let me know in the comments down below I was not expecting that I thought it was so good and I read most of this book on the airplane and I'm not even gonna lie I cried on the airplane like twice because there's a couple of intense scenes in here but this just it blew me away it really did and even though Christmas is over I still highly recommend that you pick this one up because it was so good so that was everything that I read in the month of December. Like I said, it's a really slow month for me because normally I'm like reading like nine books a month and so I only read four. That's, I guess that's more than a lot of people normally read so I shouldn't be too hard on myself. But I was traveling, I went to go see my family and just I didn't read at all while I was there. There was a lot of books in 2017 that I wanted to get to that I didn't and I actually read in 2017 117 books and if I count The Return of the King I read 118 books. The most books I ever read in a year so I'm really proud of myself.
Let me know how many books you guys read in the year of 2017. What are you looking forward to in your January TBRs? I hope everybody has a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!